What's going on people? This is Shia Harris of the Rep Society. This is the process. Uh, for this one, it's going to be a little bit different. Um, for one, I'm in my car. It's actually like my safe zone. I feel very safe in my car for some reason. Um, really just sitting in front of my house, contemplating some stuff. Um, it's the end of the year. Um, and it's more, I can say it's a rant or event, but just some things I noticed about myself as well as other people um, that I just want to speak on. Um, a lot of people are faking confidence, man. I'm definitely one of those people. Um, what made me realize that is that I was talking to somebody, um, an acquaintance, and I felt like when I was talking to him, I was putting on like a extra layer of bravado or just like being overly confident about something that I was like very insecure about um, as a man I feel like we all have you know different insecurities um, that we try to cover up about you know whatever make sure you have money make sure you have you know all the females um, make sure you're handling your business um, make sure you're a provider but I feel like that's kind of kind of amplifies once you're an entrepreneur once you have other people to depend on you and you feel like you're not doing all that you can do um, like right now it's like super slow for my business because Christmas time and the crazy thing is I've known that for about two years that you know December November through January is pretty slow. But I feel like I fucked up because I know this information. Like, why didn't I do something, you know, lean up to it? So, you know, things like that just make you feel some type of way. And, um, and sometimes we don't say these things. Like, I don't know if women go through this, but I know men definitely go through this, where you have to make it seem like you got all your shit together when you don't. Like, you know you don't. Like, I feel insecure about a lot of shit that I don't never speak on or I just, you know, say it don't matter. But I can say it do matter because a lot of stuff I'm insecure about, it still doesn't matter at the end of the day. But there are certain things, like, make sure that, you know, everything's covered in my house. Um make sure you know my wife is happy make sure my family my parents are happy make sure I provide for them like during the holidays during Christmas during their birthdays so that is one of the goals I made for myself is that I'm gonna make sure that they're taken care of it's, there's gonna be no more I can't do Christmas this year because I fucked up my money or money isn't coming in like that like I felt over Christmas that I was very insecure, very self-confident. I wanted to stay home just because I couldn't buy them the gifts that they wanted. So, and I mean, it's not something I should feel good about because I should be able to do that, especially, yeah, especially at my age. I'm, 32 I should be able to take care and make sure they all good but not try to blame it on that you know being an entrepreneur is hard which it is hard but when you know better you should do better and I've been knowing for a couple years how this shit gonna go so it's just time for me to do better so I'm just tired of faking confidence and things that I'm like insecure or you know whatever about um, just be real with myself that, hey, you know, these are things I need to work on or these things I just need to do better at. Um, I don't know, it just seems like it's a lot going on in my head, especially while it's slow, that, you know, you kind of reflect on last year and the things that you've done, the things that you accomplished. And, you know, try to project on where you want to be at, you know, in 2018. 
So I'm still trying to figure it out. I got a good idea where I'm be at, but I guess it really just comes down to me like, and even with the faking confidence and the Christmas being slow, like all this could have been taken care of if I stuck with the things I said I was gonna do last year. So, um, I don't know, it's just been a lot, a lot to think about as far as being a man, being a provider, and doing what I say I'm gonna do as far as my family, you know, as far as my business. Um, just being held accountable. Um, instead of doing what I say I'm gonna do in the moment, and then later on, say, forget that, I'm gonna just go out and have drinks with my friends or spend money on clothes, which I rarely do, but or go out eating every week when that's something I don't need to be doing. Just really take lead of my situation, a lead of my family, and really just, I don't say protect them, but lead for the most part. Like, it's really just a time to lead, like, I felt like I've been a leader, but at the same time, I felt like an ineffective leader, if that makes sense. Like, I just felt like I wasn't leading the best way possible. Like, really making sure that everything in my life is gonna be okay. Um, yeah, just making sure that we good, like, And like bills are getting taken care of, but at the same time, there's been some months. I ain't say it's been some months. It's been about two months where things got real sketchy, you know. So I don't know. Just makes you think about certain things, how you want to do it. Um, this is just a very reflective video I'm gonna do. Um, and just want to tell other guys, other entrepreneurs, like, hey. It's cool to know that you don't have all your shit together. But, and realizing that, you also have to realize that you have to work towards getting your shit together. Like, there's no need to keep putting shit off or, you know, keep doing the same thing and expecting different results. Like, just need to work towards the things that we want, the things that we say we want, the things that we want for our families, our legacies, the things that we say we want to do, the things that we ultimately just want out of life. We just got to put our head down and stop bullshitting in life, man. So, yeah, that's all I got. So, everybody just have a happy New Year's. Have a great New Year's Eve. Stay safe. And... Let's get ready for 2018.